Yeah, check this out. This is really cool. I don't think I've ever been in a spirit store before where they actually had all the inflatables blown up. All right, guys, today I am at Lindale Mall in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, about to go into this Spirit Halloween. Thank you, sir. That used to be, check this out, a Yonkers. Yeah, that's right. Look, you can even see, boy, there's an echo. You can even see the label scar right there that says Yonkers, right beside the Spirit Halloween sign. And you know what I think of when I see Yonkers? I think of Scooby-Doo, how they're always saying things like Jinkies and Zowie. Yonkers! Yonkers, Scoob! We're at Spirit Halloween! That is a pretty nifty sign up there, too. I'm loving it. All right, guys, let's go ahead in here and see what we can find. Wow. As I get closer, I realize just how big that sign is. It's enormous. <laughs> All right, let's go on in here. Spirit Halloween. I love walking right in the store. What in the heck? Look at this. It's like a portal to a different dimension. You can walk right in or you can go through the doors. And strangely, some people did actually just come out the doors instead of just walking out here. Okay, Yonkers Scoob, let's check out this store. First, we have Lord Raven, AKA Lord Farquad, And he does not appear to be working. So let's go ahead and go through the monster laboratory here and we'll see what's happening. Oh, look, we have all four bubbles of death tube working and we have Barry let's get him going he's head banging his head almost fits through those bars all right let's come on through here and hold on before we look at anything else we're gonna look at this right here because holy crap guys they have two sandworm sandworm greeters i would love to have some of that candy corn right now all right let's see what else is set up over here okay we have a grim let's see if we can get grim going come on mister what in the heck oh there he goes music's too loud and he's too quiet let's see if we can get monty going over here come on monty yeah he's pretty loud today Big crazy monkey. And while we're at it, let's leave him some stickers. Let's check out the bog zombie and the music is right above us so we have to keep on moving. Wow guys, this really is an enormous store. It stretches from that end to that end to that, whoa. We got inflatables back here. Yeah, check this out. This is really cool. I don't think I've ever been in a spirit store before where they actually had all the inflatables blown up and lining the wall. This is actually the entrance to the mall right out there. So as you walk in, you get to see all these inflatables. Oh man, do those fans feel good right now. Okay, let's just look at these a minute. We have the inflatable spooky tree underneath the inflatable pumpkin archway. We have the ginormous inflatable skull. And that is pretty awesome. Look at this. All right, here's what I like about this that I did not know before. Look at the mouth. It's actually like open. You could actually get in there if you wanted to. And I also like how his eyes light up that is pretty sweet. Then we got this little inflatable pumpkin guy. We got the inflatable gargoyle over here. Look at his eyes. And then we have the inflatable reaper here. He is actually a lot bigger than I thought he would be. Holy crap. It's really good of them to have these things blown up because you really get to see how big they are. Then we have this little ghost down here. And look at this, guys. The inflatable clown archway. Look at how huge that thing is. That is so much bigger than I ever expected it to be. Look at this, he towers over us. Holy crap, look at that guy. <laughs> and then of course we have the inflatable cemetery headstone and the inflatable cat. All right, let's just take a little walk through here and look at these masks real quick before we check out the rest of the store. They have these things set up pretty dang good. They don't have just like a whole bunch of them falling off the wall, although they do have a whole lot of wall left. So maybe there's just not done putting them up yet, but I do like how you can just walk through here and look at all of them. 
pretty cool. Don't you think, sir? Oh my gosh. Look at what they have over here, guys. I can't believe this right now. I can't believe it right now. <laughs> Look at this. We have a Sam for 125 bucks. It doesn't, oh, let's see, his arm is broken. Oh my gosh, okay. And we have two Ellie hatchets, 129 bucks each. Her arm is broken, and her arm is broken. Why in the world does everybody have a broken arm? And look at this, they have all this other clearance stuff, including a Dead by Daylight ghost face mask. And the, oh, the mask is broken. Okay, that's the main point of the costume. Wait a minute, what in the world is this? Alien headband? Oh my gosh, all right. Oh my gosh, guys, check this out. I don't think I've seen this before. They have a Willy Wonka costume and an Oompa Loompa costume. I actually dressed up as an Oompa Loompa one year for Halloween. We'll get on to seeing if they have other animatronics in a minute, but I just passed this stuff and look, they have the Mickey Mouse gloves and they have Mickey Mouse feet, if you wanna be Mickey Mouse. Oh, and look, we've seen the Squid Game uh, costumes before, but I haven't seen this one, the player track suit. All right, let's go through here just for the heck of it and see if they happen to have, oh, hi. I was gonna say scream stuff. And yeah, they have a little bit, but it's another store that's still waiting for all the rest. All right, wait a minute. Here is a Jason Friday the 13th jacket that I've never seen. Mask and blades on the back. That is pretty cool. And look at this. The shirt is starting to show up in all the stores. I'm so glad. The last store I was in, I was going to buy the XX, but I know it's not big enough for me, so I'm going to have to keep watching online. All right, we still have this whole half of the store over here to go. Looks like they got everybody set Well, almost everybody set up. All right, let's get Nazi going. Or not. I guess it's not. His name in this store is Nottles. All right, let's get Skelly Bones going. Oh, he's on the, uh, here we go, hold on. There we go, there's Skelly. And let's get Jumping Jack going. There we go. And let's get Mr. Dark going. There we go. And yes, the monitors are working back here. We have the blue bubbles of death working. We don't have bottomless or a jumping spider or Reagan, but look at this back here stacked against the wall. They're trying to hide them from us. Oh my gosh, they got a lot of stuff. All right, we got three sitting scarecrows. We have two nozzles. We have three bubbas. Look at this. We got a grim up here. I don't know what this means. I don't know, okay. And we have a bog zombie and a berry. All right, back here on this wall, we have fogging skull piles. We have stuffed dummy props. We have Sam ground breakers. Let's see what's in here. Okay, this is all their inflatables here. Is there anything that we didn't see blown up? Doesn't look like it, but we do have the empty soul girl on a swing and crimson, creepy crimson girl on a swing. And of course we have our best cat friends here. And like I said, in the stores, there's always one, two, three, four of the creeping cat and three of the creepy cat. But there's only two here, so somebody must have bought one. Hello, rat. I keep seeing this in stores. I think I talked about it last year. It's like some kind of a scorpion, I think. Yeah, it's a big scorpion. But it looks to me like the face hugger from Alien. And we have our favorite babies who are just begging to be adopted. We don't have a burrito baby, but wow. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six Gorious George, four Spider Biter Billies, three, what's this guy's name? Snackin' Stevies, and two Rat Eaters. Oh, and we almost didn't go through the electricity room of Death. Okay, here we go. The electricity is deathing us. The floor is deathing us. Death by vibration. And the little monitor things are not working. So I guess we will not be monitored to death today. Man, I am sweating like a hog up in this piece. Wait a minute, here's another clearance section. Let's just go look back here for the heck of it. Kids costumes, let's see, tigress, cat in a hat. Alien dress, magical mermaid, that one's called. Basketball player. Um, okay, that's all they got there. All right, wait a minute. They do have some scream costumes back here in the kids section, but they're all just the white face. Usually in the kids section, you can find the silver ones. They're, they're chrome. 
but uh, not today. I gotta say guys, this has got to be the biggest Spirit Halloween store that I've ever been in. This is like, it's just huge. <laughs> oh, we almost missed these side steppers. They have the Frankenstein side steppers and the Sam. Sinister Spirit Dolls, Reaper Greeters, Annabelle, Animated Doll Greeters, and we have Hugs. And what's this guy's name? The Vintage Clown Doll. Oh, and we have this one over here, Rosalie. I could swear I saw more, and I believe they were back here past the babies. Yes, right here on the end cap. Okay, so here we have Eerie Emma, Decrepit Haunted Doll, another Rosalie down there, the Pumpkin Nester, and, oh, another Decrepit Haunted Doll. No hugs back here, and I'm still on the hunt for Crouchy. Stickers for the bucket. I just want to go out here for a second past the inflatables and see what the front of the store looks like from the inside of the mall. And strangely, there's no Spirit Halloween sign inside the mall going into Spirit Halloween, except for this very small one right here. Okay. All right, guys, that's it for the Spirit Halloween in the old Yonkers. Yonkers.